The question I have is, what will this mean for Kenanese's Bekele's reputation if he wins this race going forward? I mean, already the greatest world cross country runner in history, arguably the greatest track runner in history. If he wins this, does this solidify him as the goat, the greatest of all time? He will he will increase his world marathon majors victory total by fifty percent. He's only won two majors. I don't know if only is the right word for that, but it's not that many. He's won Berlin twice, both in super fast times. He's missed the world record when he won those two races by a combined six seconds. I think he missed it by four seconds in 2016 and two seconds in, in that 201.41 race. So pretty amazing. So I, I definitely think this will help him sort of, you know, in the debates for the years to come as to, you know, can someone surpass him as the greatest of all time if he wins here today? I mean, I mean technically it helps him, but I don't know. I already view him as the greatest of all time. I don't see his, winning New York is cool. I think it's a cool achievement at the age of 39 coming back again. This is a guy two years, two years basically passed since his last good marathon. Then he comes out of the woodwork again and to win a major at 39 in New York on a tough course. Yeah, it's a cool achievement, but I don't see this changing his legacy all that much. I mean, Kipchoge is the greatest marathon ever, and Bekele is never going to get that title from him. Though I guess one thing, this will be interesting. Robert, you want to see Bekele, sorry, you want to see Kipchoge win all the majors. And the one thing you've you've said is that he's never won on sort of a hilly technical course like Boston or New York. If Bekele wins New York and let's say Kipchoge shows up and tries to run New York next year and fails, does that change your thinking vis-a-vis -vis, you know, those two guys in the marathon? A little bit. That's why I think it'd be great. To see, what if Bekele throws down, what is it, Fifth Avenue or whatever it's called? You know, throws down an epic performance. The New York City, the U.S. gets to see the world's greatest runner winning with an epic slot down of the field over the last 10K. And then if he wins, he's much more likely to come back next year as the defending champion. Could Kip Choge come to New York next year? I bet he likely does London in the fall, unfortunately. But it would be really cool to see them clash here in New York. You know, and I think that would motivate Bakili. Because my only my biggest concern about Bakili moving forward is the motivation. Like he's obsessed with getting that world record but he's probably not, never going to get it. I want to see him come back to New York. I want to see him do Boston. I want to see these guys on the American courses. I'm biased for sure, but I want to see them in the non-rabbited races. I, I know what they can do in rabbited races. No, Rob, I, I agree. I think it's great to have Bekele running in the United States. You know, He ran Chicago in 2014, and then he's you know mostly been in Europe and Dubai for the rest of the marathon since then. But your scenario you just suggested, that's what I'm... Now I, I think I want Bekele to win because... If Bekele wins, and Kipchoge has said he wants to win all six majors, I really don't see what he has to gain by going back to London next year. I know he likes running London, but if he says he wants to run all the majors, he needs to go to New York next fall. And if Bekele is the defending champion, they're going to want him to come back. And that would, be, that would just be a prize fight right there. We would hype it up again. Kipchoge would probably win again because that's always what he does. But one loss, Kipchoge, Bekele battle, New York City 2022. Oh, That'd be amazing. So I, I want that scenario to come to fruition.